M zero FXB, welcome to my channel. Out here testing this Seacom antenna, which is military and airband frequencies. So it's an extendable antenna, very solid. It's only about 10, 12 pound in the UK. Not sure if you can buy them all around the world. But at the moment, it's just picking up my hotspot and it, we haven't extended it yet. We're gonna extend it and then do some scanning. Okay, so it extends that long. So I would say maybe at the most three foot. Let's get this scanning and see if it picks anything up. To, to, to scan, all I've got to do is turn the volume knob and it will start to scan. So that's Bristol Airport, sort of the information channel. That was Cardiff Radar, EGFF was it? Bristol Approach, EGDD. So I don't really know about military airbands. So of course you can add these different frequencies in, you can add your ham radio frequencies. If we press the function button, and then we'll select my ham channels. So at the top it says set scan selection. Push the volume, then set list to monitor. I've got all these lists. I'm gonna turn all of them off and just turn on the ham radio ones. Now of course, if you're in the USA, you can just put in your zip code and it will load everything you've got in your area. It's fantastic. So if you go back one with the red button there and just select set all lists off push down the volume then go back up to set list to monitors just up one like so and you can you import the, these are called favorites favorites are groups of channels that you can import from uh, is it radio reference.com in the usa and in the uk rruk once you've selected just press the flat line here and it will just load the few that you've selected. It's going to load up a lot quicker. And it will just scan. Now, I did include my favourites, which happens to also be <laughs> this one. Now, you, don't forget, you can tell it to avoid this one by just pressing the avoid button. And it will just avoid that. That's my hotspot at home. We can tell it to avoid that as well. Oh, I've got so many airport ones, I was hoping to get the ham ones. Oh, it's going through. Oh, taxi. Can't hear it, but taxi. Let's see if I can type. Oh, there's GB3BC. And it will hold for a few seconds, then scan. So. It's a BNC connection, so you have to use the adapter. That's my hubnet node. That's that's analog. There's, there you are, GB3WR. I mean, it's a beautiful screen. They they are expensive. These there's no cheap. There's a lot to learn how to use them. You have systems, departments, and channels. You can enter manually manually just by just tapping channel there. Just tap it so it highlights, and you can now type a frequency. It's called direct entry. You press the E, and then it, you can also name it and save it. You can select edit name, and if you just select enter, it will just keep the frequency as the name, or you can edit it. And then just hit the flat line here, and go back. So that, I think that's enough for now. Lots to learn with these devices. Bye for now. All the best. Queen here is now, November, Echo, India, Lima, 2 Bristol, South West, United Kingdom.